Hi, I'm Lexine. I'm originally from Illinois and took a leap of faith and moved to Charlotte, North Carolina. Came up here for work to Richmond and now I'm here, still here. <laughs> So when I was a kid, I went to church on a regular basis and went to Sunday school. I always felt the presence of God, but I just didn't have any guidance as to what to do with that. I had this feeling of never feeling adequate enough, never feeling enough. I started going down a wrong path, hanging out with the wrong people, and making poor choices, because ultimately there was this void that I had that only God could fill. And so I started using substances to fill that void. Um, it made me feel taller, <laughs> prettier. You know, I didn't, you know, care what people thought about me when I did those substances. And uh, it led me into jails. It led me into hospitals. I had near-death experiences. There was a time that they coded me a couple of times, and. Um, I ended up a couple of days later getting off the ventilator and absolutely nothing was wrong with me, which is an absolute miracle. Because of the substances, I couldn't keep a job, I couldn't go to school, I had no real substances when it came to, like, my friendships were not real, they weren't built on a foundation, they were built on a liquid. Um, and my health was deteriorating and, you know, just going into the jails and the hospitals all the time. It eventually just stopped working and um, my family wanted nothing to do with me at that point. And I just knew at that moment like something either needed to change and I was at a point where I didn't want to live but I didn't want to die at the same time. And that's a really hard, that was a very hard place to be. The mental anguish was just so intense and I knew that something needed to change and I heard about God. <laughs> that he was a good God, and I was like, I don't know, he might be a little bit mad at me and disappointed in the things that I've been doing. Um, so I went off to go to treatment, and there was this very pivotal moment, and I was in, at a connector in Dallas, and there was a bar, and then there was a water fountain, and I was sitting there and debating, do I go back to my old life, make up some story as to why I can't go to treatment, or do I just go to the water fountain and get on the plane? And I was sitting there for 20 minutes, looking back and forth between it. And I s promise you, I heard God say, get on the plane. I filled my water bottle and I got on the plane. My life changed. Ask God for his help and little did I know what he was going to do and how far or how much my life was going to change at that point. Like I had given it, been blessed with a second chance at life. Um, that happened in 528-14. Um, I've been sober since then by the grace of God and so many things have transpired in my life as a direct result of turning my life over to God. Lexine is, Lexine is a confident woman now compared to where I was before. I was broken and I'm not broken anymore. You know, I have a new awareness today as a result of the resources that I have received along my path. And because of God, there's just things that are just bound to be revealed and he's taking me to new places and having me be of service to other people and that's just a, a beautiful thing. I went from being selfish to selfless and I never thought that that would ever happen. My name is Lexine and I have decided to follow Jesus. Guys, this is what happens when you make room for Jesus in your life. Lexine, is it your desire to go public with your faith today? Absolutely. Awesome. Then it's a privilege to baptize you, my sister, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Thank you. God bless you.